Hello, family and friends. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Khalil. Today, I'm going to introduce to you this amazing veal tenderloin. This is not your typical tenderloin that's called beef tenderloin, which is red color. This is a pink, beautiful piece of meat. That beautiful meat will literally melt in your mouth. Veal alla nonna is one of my favorite dish because it has a combination of meat and vegetable and cheese. So we're gonna start this right now. And here is my veal tenderloin. First, we grab that baby just like that and be nice and kind to it, please, because these tender things are tender. That's what they call it, tenderloin. Here we go, so we got a knife. And what you wanna do is literally cut it into an even thickness. This way, while you're cooking it, it doesn't have one that's cooked extra and one cooked less. So an equal thickness, as much as you could possibly can. And actually what I want today is only two or three pieces all day. I don't want too many of them. I just want to keep that baby for a future roasting. This baby can be amazing, roasted in the oven with some rosemary and some other dishes. We'll talk about this later. So we'll keep this here for now. And I'm gonna finish up my veal alla nona. So now we get all our veal pieces cut evenly right here. And what are we gonna do? Just a little pat on it to make it all equal. Okay, this is doesn't need no hammer, doesn't need no uh, strong muscles or anything. This is the yield tenderloin. One more time, I'm making sure everybody aware of what we're doing here. Here we go. So we got our three pieces of veal tenderloin together. In a hot searing pan, what you wanna do is sear your beautiful veal tenderloin. Here we go. You put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom, pump up your stove and be very careful and gentle. Keep your hand away from the oil and put your veal in the pan. Now, you can use this tongue and slowly, while this seared, we add enough little garlic and fresh basil right straight into your pan. Any kind of little, just roast in it, so the oil can carry the aroma and the flavor straight into your veal. So here we go, I'm turning the other side of my veal and check this out. Be very careful as you're doing this at home because what's coming is some beautiful white wine and flames. And I mean beautiful flames, my friend, because this home is gonna smell of love and feeling. So we're gonna just burn out all the alcohol from your wine and get the veal all full of aroma and taste and top up with some little bit of Napolitana, right there, such as that, just nicely and gentle. Now we have that tomato flavor mixed in with the garlic, basil, white wine, and we're gonna top this all up with some beautiful eggplant, roasted eggplant right there. One, two, and three pieces of eggplant, and some beautiful roasted capsicum. And if you think this is the end of the game, you are mistaken, my friend because the game is still have some more moves and touches. I'm gonna finish up this beautiful dish with some beautiful mozzarella cheese, so it can melt on the top. And tell me, my friend, if that is not love, what love would be? Now, I'm gonna cover this up and have this steam of your wine, tomato, basil, garlic, just infused into your veal tenderloin. And I'm telling you, this is not going to be a normal, piece of veal after it's cooked. At the moment, your veal is steaming inside with the flavor and everything that we just added together. That dish didn't take no more than three to five minutes under low heat and steam. And you can easily tell if you're watching from a top pan that have glasses. So if your cover is, has glasses, you can easily tell the cheese has melted. And now, the moment of truth. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Some beautiful smoke coming out of this and the aroma is amazing. Just like that, now all the smoke is coming out, my friend, and shake it right straight into your plate. Nicely and easy. Finish it up with a beautiful basil right in the center. Such like that. And a little parsley. And look at this. This is a beautiful veal tenderloin. I call that dish veal a la nonna. If you're nonna with a daughter, she doesn't even need to wear one. That will melt in her mouth. Veal a la nonna.